Let's take a look at your workbook homework for today, page 86 and 87. Okay, so Sufin brought this set of stamps from the post office. She had $6.30 left. How much money did she have at first? So you have to look at the price of the post postcards, right? So you have a $2 one, 75 cents, and a 20 cents. So what's 75 plus 20? 95, so that's $2.95. So the stamps cost $2.95, okay? And she started out with $6.30. So I'm gonna just write that down. $6.30 left, right? How much money did she have at first? At first means, right, so let's read that again. Sufin bought this set of stamps from a post office. She had $6.30 left. How much money did she have at first? At first means what did she start with? So wouldn't that mean that we would have to add these together to figure out what she started with? Let's do it. So model number one, um, so 630. 2.95, there's our unknown, our total, right? Because we don't know how much she started with. That's what we gotta figure out. Right, we don't know the all together. We know that the bigger portion is $6.30 and the smaller portion was 2.95, okay? So 6.30 plus 2.95, do the math with me. Okay, so five, three plus nine is 12. Carry the one, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine dollars and 25 cents. So what would our sentence be? So they wanna know how much money she had at first. We should say that. Her name, she's the character in the story, had blank at first. Do you agree? Nine dollars twenty-five cents. Okay. All right. Here we go. Miguel spent two dollars and sixty cents on his lunch. His brother spent ninety-five cents more than he. How much did his brother spend? Okay. So Miguel spent something, and his brother spent more than him. So we don't know the total of what his brother spent, but we do know that it was more than his brother. Okay. So two dollars sixty cents plus ninety-five. Okay. Model drawing. Sorry, I'm hurrying because I I don't want my video to. I want to be able to upload this to Dojo. All right. So sometimes they limit to the number of how long it is to limit it. So you add these together. Make sure we line up the decimals. That's five, six plus nine is 15. Carry the one, $3.55. So what was the question again? How much did his brother spend? All right, so we don't know his brother's name, so we'll start our sentence with his brother spent what? $3.55, okay? All right, last one. Lily saved $10. She saved $1.95 more than Jose. How much did Jose save? Okay. Okay. Lily saved $10. She saved $1.95 more than Jose. So she has more money than Jose. Ho Jose has less than her. So we know that our total is $10. And we don't know, and we know that he has, right? Okay, he has less. Or she has less than him. Wait, hold on a second. Lily saved $10. She saved $1.95 more than Jose. How much did Jose save? Okay, so she's the whole, and we know his is less. So this is going to be, when you write this out, write it like this. 
Okay. Okay, so that's our total. Uh, uh, sorry, this is so wonky. And we know that a part is $1.95, and this is our unknown. Okay, so we're going to take $10 and subtract $1.95. So we could do this in our head like we did in that math problem. We can pretend that this is $2. And then we can take $2 away from that and we get $8. And then we add in the five cents. So $8, five cents. But let's do it this way, just to make sure. Okay, we can't do that. Now we can get help. Okay, so 10 take away five, nine take away this, nine take away one is eight. Eight dollars five cents. So Jose saved eight dollars five cents. All right, let's look over here at this. I know you know how to do the review. I know how you how to do numbers one and two. This is the one I really want to talk to you about. Number three, meters and centimeters. Um, I don't know if you remember when we did the meters, we put your meter mark on your body, remember? I think most of you guys were like, it was your chin or your armpit, and that was your meter mark, the mark on your body from the floor. <clears throat> Mine was my belly button, and so that's meters. So centimeters are the little ones. So meters are the big, centimeters are the small. So you have to look at this logically. The height of a door is about three, would it be three centimeters? or three meters, what would make sense for a door? I think meters, I bet you agree with me. Lily is three blank shorter than her brother. Three centimeters or three meters? What do you guys think would make sense there? I go, I'm gonna go with centimeters. I think you guys agree with me. A pencil is about 19 <laughs> meters long. Imagine how long that pencil would be. That would be a crazy long pencil. Do you agree that it should be centimeters? I do too. Gary took part in a 400 centimeter race. Okay, that would be a lot of these. Tee, 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 tee. That would be, it would come out, and even though 400 is a big number, that would come out to a pretty short race. So that one's gonna be meters. Now let's look down here at kilograms or grams. Which one is the bigger item, kilograms or grams? It, kg is bigger than grams, it's a thousand grams, okay? So watermelon weight, grams are the little tiny, remember when we had the scale at school and I had those little tiny weights? Those were grams, okay? So watermelon is a pretty decent size. It's gonna be eight kilograms. Pear though, 120 grams or 120 kilograms. I'm gonna go with grams on that because 120 kilograms would be a lot. Mr. Banks bought a jar of honey that weighs 850, I'm gonna go with grams on that too, because that's a big number. And 850 kilograms is, it just doesn't make sense, it'd be too big. So a found, usually rice is sold in pounds. So Mark bought a five gram bag of rice. So five little tiny grams that are very light or kilograms. I agree, kilograms makes sense. Okay guys. There's your work for, your homework for today. This part up here, I know you can do on your own, so go ahead and do it, okay? Bye, have a good afternoon.